Hey what's up guys this is Ashok from TechEB and today I am back with a new video which is for OnePlus 5 and in this video we'll be taking a look at one of the ROM which is known as Liquid Remix and this ROM needs a device to be decrypted make sure to take backup of everything including internal memory. Liquid ROM have lots of customizations and I feel it's one of the best ROM I have ever used on my OnePlus 5. So let's not waste much of time directly moving into the settings under about 4. You have the software information Android version 8.0 with a security patch of 5th November 2017. This is the latest security patch. And before moving ahead, I would like to show you the battery backup what I am getting on this device. So you can see the screen usage time is 3 hours 45 minutes with 31% of battery still remaining. This is the second cycle which I am showing you and the first cycle I will show you the same sats. I got 2 hours 52 minutes of battery backup with 11% of battery remaining. And in this I have only used 4G services. I did not use Wi-Fi in my first cycle. And one more good thing about this room is it comes pre-installed with OnePlus camera. In this camera everything is working fine including video recording but you don't have depth effect in this camera. And now we'll take a look at the customizations options available on this room. As you go inside the settings you will find an option of liquid launch. Under this you have tons of things to customize like buttons, gesture, lock screen, miscellaneous and many more. I won't be covering all of the things as there are too many options so I'll just cover few things which I always like to have on every room. So first going inside buttons you have volume rocker options which I always use is volume key answer and the second option is volume rocker wake. Then we have gestures available here under which you have AOSP gestures that is jump to camera. So if you enable this and whenever your device is locked you just have to double tap the power button to enable camera. Then you have double tap to sleep under which status bar double tap to sleep on navigation bar lock screen and pocket detection three fingers gestures. If you swipe three fingers it will take a screenshot. Then moving on to the lock screen. Under this you have lock screen shortcuts. You can change the shortcuts according to your requirement. After that you have lock screen weather, media art, lock screen charging info. In this when you charge your phone you get info about the battery temperature and the voltage what you are getting from the charger. Then we also have miscellaneous available here in which you have alarm blocker, wake lock blocker, MTB instead of charging. So if you enable this and whenever you connect your device instead of charging it will connect to media transfer. And you also have an option to wake up on charge. Then you have navigation bar customizations. Here you can add extra buttons in this. So this I wanted to do a complete video on this. How can you customize your navigation bar? That I'll uh, come up with a video very soon. After that you have notifications which includes head up notification, battery light, notification light and you also get few options of in call vibrations. Then you have power menu which have few options of power restart, advanced restart, screenshot, screen record, flashlight, settings, lockdown. Next moving on to quick settings. So here you have brightness slider, brightness icon, smart pull down, dark system UI style which requires reboot and this is the main part which I like it over here. So here you can set a custom header image like how I have set it here. You can see the image available on my status bar. So you have few pre-installed images available and here you can also adjust the image shadow. And after that you have few options of recent panel and status bar. So these are the customization options in this room and I strongly recommend you guys to use this room. If you love using custom rooms then you should give a try on this room. It's one of the stable room what I have found till now. I did not get any kind of bugs or anything like that as I've been using it from past two days. 
and things like volt services and uh, there is no network drop in this room volt services are working great without any kind of issues and you also don't have any delay on fingerprint which is lightning fast as stock os so now let's move to the installation process to install this rom you need to have few things one is the rom file second one is the google app package and one more thing what you need is the blue spark recovery do not use twrp recovery i don't recommend that so once you have installed the twrp recovery boot your device to recovery after your device boots to recovery go to wipe advanced wipe select everything just exclude internal memory as you'll have the rom file available in this swipe to wipe and once it is done go back go to install locate the file install the rom along with that flash the google app package once everything is done just hit reboot and wait for the device to boot up and once your device boots up you'll have few errors like this so do not worry about it just reboot your device once more and everything should work perfect you can complete the initial setup and start using the room so guys as of now that's all in this video hope you like the video if you like the video do not forget to press the thumbs up button and if you are new to my channel do subscribe it thanks for watching have a great day